Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Los Banos Talk. My name is Justin Collins. On tonight's episode, a local resident that's actually connected with our local city government has recently been arrested for sexually assaulting animals. I'll give you all the details in just a moment, right after a brief message from our sponsor. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Hey there, local business owner. How would you like to send your business to the moon with Valley Marketing Solutions? We offer professional social media management for as low as $100 a month up to $500 a month and plans in between. We also work with all five major radio stations in Merced County and can get your business featured on it as well. Valley Marketing Solutions can also get your business featured on Los Banos Talk. News and politics in front of thousands of local Los Banos residents like you. Valley Marketing Solutions offers graphic design, video production, logo creation, business card creation, banner creation, and more. Valley Marketing Solutions knows this market and is in the business of helping businesses. So call or text today at 209-733-0421. And we're back. Thanks for watching. According to the Los Banos Police Department website and Citizen RIMS reporting, on July 22nd at exactly 8.22 p.m., it's listed as a welfare check that resulted in a, an arrest in the area of I Street. Police haven't been able to release much information about this case as it's still under investigation, but police were dispatched to the location after calls of a disturbance. The individual Martin Irwin of Los Banos was arrested on charges of sexually assaulting animals. Now, granted, I want to reiterate that just because someone's arrested technically does not make them guilty. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. But when someone is arrested for something, that means there was at least probable cause for the arrest. But it doesn't necessarily imply that they're guilty. However, when it's a sexual offense, even regarding animals, it still kind of puts me on the alert to make sure that we protect the community. After Googling his name, I was able to actually find his LinkedIn profile. As you can see, the picture is a uh, near match and from Los Banos, California. And interestingly enough, I saw here under volunteer ex experience that he's a commissioner of our local parks and rec division. I wanted to verify this as to me, this is pretty significant since our parks and recs division has under its purview a dog park as well as a lot of children use parks. And so I looked at a recent uh, meeting that our parks and recs commission has had, and it does show right here uh, that he's under the roll call and there he is listed again. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Parks and Recs has to do with recreation to include that of children and also animals such as our dog park. And with the allegations currently pending against him of sexually assaulting animals and his position within the Parks and Rec body of government, it does bring questions to mind such as what would be the motive of wanting to be a part of the recreational and parks if it turns out that you are, in, are indeed a sexual offender. I don't have all the answers, but I definitely do think we deserve an answer from our local government as far as to what will happen, whether this person will remain in their position. Now, commissioners are advisory only roles and they are appointed positions. However, that being said, it doesn't exactly look good to have someone appointed into a position directly advising on the nature of parks and recreation who potentially is a sex offender against animals and who knows. If you haven't already, please like, follow, subscribe to Los Banos Talk. We have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and of course, LosBanosTalk.com. You can become a supporter of Los Banos Talk for just $4.99 a month and gain access to all the videos first and ad-free. Plus, gain access to bonus behind-the-scenes content and opinion pieces as well. Once again, my name is Justin Collins, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.